Hello, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. In our last episode, we continued launching rockets, uh, one to here and one to here, and after our last rocket came back, which we just sent again the one to the interstellar ice, uh, after that came back, we did a little bit more research, and it turns out we have finished, I think we finished all the research. So there's no need to use research modules anymore. So why use them? So when the rocket, as the rockets come back, I'm going to swap them out for something else. Um, we could put the sightseeing modules in them and give some of our dupes a vacation. Uh, before we do that, though, I think we would probably need some more dupes. So that's definitely an option to do today or soon is, uh, well, finish up some of this mess here. First of all, let's get rid of some of these power lines. I'll back it up to there. I don't know if I want to back it all the way out just yet or not. And clean up some of this other mess here with the pipes. So we have... We have clean water here. Oh, I remember. We we're going to do this with the clean water. And bypass this bit here. We needed to break into here a little bit. New buildings. Break into there. Break into there. Probably into there as well. Because I want to run both of the polluted water. I'm mean, going to run this one up here and this one back down here. So we need to get this out of the way first. Let's see. I'm going to have to stop... Stop the polluted water flow here. Deconstruct that. No. Not where I want to stop it. I want to stop it here. Somewhere. Um. That would be best. Take that pipe out as well. Good. They took that apart. And we've got a mess going on right here. Easy enough to fix. And a mess here. Okay, so now as they continue to pull this... Or as we continue to use this water, we'll pull it out of... Kind of both here and here, so it'll get kind of half used in both. Which is fine. It'll come out as easily as possible. And then I think we can rebuild this after that. Yeah, so we might not have had to do all this damage. But that's okay. A little bit of damage never hurt anybody, right? Uh, we have... Printables. Um... I'll take... Eh, I'll take the sand. We really don't need wart seeds. We have so much cold, we, we don't need wart seeds. Keep bleeding. as you can see, this is slowly getting consumed by the uh, pinch of peppers, which is what I intended. That's why I broke it where I did, because eventually these will just pull it down to here, which is as far back as I need to go. And then finally, that pipe there. Um, wait a minute. I messed up. This needs to come back out again. At least t two of these do. These two. Because I need to also do this that way. Uh, nope, we gotta take, we're gonna have to cut all the way into here. I think that's okay, though. Because it's just uh, oxygen in there. Uh, elements. Yeah, mostly just oxygen in there. Well, we might let a little bit of carbon dioxide in, though. No, let's do it from this side. Deconstruct. Deconstruct. Mop that, please. And then... Rebuild those. Forgot about the carbon dioxide building up here. Okay, so now... This pipe actually can be deleted. And then this one can go up... Up again. And up, up, up. And into there. Meanwhile, this one can come down... 
down to there. Okay, thing. Okay, so this one is down. This one is up, up. I'm going to have to cut into here, too. And I'm an idiot. I don't want to have these buildings here yet. I need to, re I need to build there first. I need to actually delete those again. Okay. Wait a minute, what's going on here? Oh, that's what's going on there. That's what I want. Okay. Let's do some priority on some of this building. I'm going to break this here as well. I think. Wait a minute. No. Wait, what happened here? Why'd that break? Uh... How'd we get something other than oxygen into that room? I don't know how those broke, but somehow we got something other than oxygen into, the, into that pipe. And I don't see how? They fixed it, so it doesn't really matter. But I'm, I'm, I might be incorrectly thinking about this, because I forgot about needing to come down here. If I bring this... Deconstruct that. And actually, I don't... I messed this up. That can't be there. Not that. Not that. This should connect into there. But I don't need this one, and I don't need this one. Take these out, too. You construct that, so we don't add any more to the loop just yet. Take out all of this stuff in this part of the loop. Okay, I think I know what I want to do. Gotta be careful. Super speed through the night. And then slow back down for the daytime. Thank you. Alright. How about if we do... Instruction priority 7. All of this junk, please. This needs to be reconnected. Did it break? Not yet. Please do this one as well. This is only temporary. I want to put this back in. Somebody. Not that hard. There we go. Good job. Okay. Reconnect that. That'll take the return pipe from here into here. Then this will go up here and connect to there, but not, just not yet. That can be done. I want to get this drained out first. But I can just deconstruct this piece right here. Why are you not working? 
because you don't have an output. Um, right. All right, we'll have to do it. We'll have to risk it. And go fast. Somebody? Good job. Okay, good timing. Now we'll take this out. And this out. Connect this one up here. This one goes here. This goes out. And then this one can go here. That'll complete that loop. Hopefully correctly. And of course we're draining right now into the pinches, which is fine. Oh, it's almost rocket time. Alright, we'll go and take care of that in a minute. Let's put these back in. No, wait, not ceramic. We just need igneous. Uh, igneous. 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 Alright, so now we are full. So now that's completing the loop back. And it's coming down in here to keep this stuff cool. So the next thing is, of course, to put the bridge back in place here. To refill the line. And we'll let them do that whenever they feel like it. And I think that takes care of that cooling loop, at least for now. So basically it's going up, cooling off these steam engines if they need it. Being pulled out in to go into this here. And then, if not, it's coming back all the way back down again into here to keep to try and cool this area off uh, to fight against this. And I hope that's working correctly. All right, let's go deal with the rocket. It's back. Okay, let's let uh, Don out of the rocket. He must already be gone. And uh, let's take out the research module because we don't need it. And I think we determined that we can't have two cargo bays with the petroleum engine. Is that correct? Yeah, not up to 30,000. We definitely can't make it that far. So if we just do... Actually, we can barely just break 30,000, but I uh, don't necessarily want to do that. Because that's 1,700 kilograms of fuel. And that seems kind of wasteful. Although, to be fair, one of them is costing us 882 kilograms of fuel. So... Okay, good. Didn't delete the command capsule. It doesn't mess with that. So, 882 times 2 is... Uh, 17... 60 something so it's actually cheaper per cargo bay to just go ahead and put two cargo bays on there and it's also cheaper per trip too uh the issue is do we still want to keep coming here for the steel and glass or do we want to go somewhere else how much steel and glass do we have 5.6, 5.7, almost 6 tons of each. We could do it for a little while, I suppose. We put that in. We need to connect this up here also. So let's not put that in just yet. Let's go across here to put the thing in there. And then we need to change this to 1706. We have 900. Then we need 806 more. And then we need 1706 here. And we'll let them bring us that few, that uh, oxalite. And also come and build this stuff. And I heard the jingle. Almost ready to start taking new dupes now. But not quite. Our barbecue supplies are going up. Our food's kind of staying steady though. Maybe. But once we start bringing back sleet weeding and start growing it, uh, that'll be nice. Which will be what the other rocket does. Once it comes back once.
Okay, so... That should be good. We can deconstruct these now, one at a time. Go back down here to the base and check on this stuff. All got rebuilt. This got rebuilt, and now we actually have a dearth of... Wait, didn't I? Hold on a minute. Oh. I actually messed this up. This shouldn't pull off of here first. It should go this way first. I'm about to figure that. Do, do something different there. But that's fine. It's fine for now. It's fine for now. As long as we have... Actually, we don't. Actually, it is, it is a problem. Because we're not, we don't have enough polluted water getting put into the thing right now. So let's let's look at fixing that once we get this rocket launched. Uh, nope, we gotta get rid of that first. Which means morning. Oh, we got a double helix model. Let's go put that out. Once we launch the rocket first. Sorry, I had to pause a couple times in the last couple minutes. Or, sorry, not pause. Mute myself. And now there's a meteor shower. Alright, come on. Now you're just trying to spite me, game. Come on, machinist. Why, why machinist? I don't know. Go there. Let's do that swiftly. We'll take this out swiftly. Not that that one needs to come out, but... I don't know. My throat's all messed up now. Okay. Come on, game. Do the stuff with the thing. Meteor shower? Come on. Hurry up. I guess I could kick the speed up. We're only on medium speed. We have 1706. 806. Our destination is selected, means we can get there. So all we need is the astronaut, and we need to wait on that until we can actually get into, or get the rocket launched without making a mess. Could ro launch a rocket now, but I would rather not make a mess. Why do you spite me so? As soon as I go on to do something else, the meteor shower will end, and I won't be here to launch the rocket. But of course, it's a longer meteor shower than average. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's just send Caladorn. He likes going anyway. Just ask him. And that's going to be a nice mess to clean up. Okay. Go for it. One way to get rid of the junk. So we technically don't need this research anymore. So it's all just going to lay around now, whatever we have left. Wish I wish I'd have noticed I was that close. Well, I guess I did notice, but I wish I would have re occurred to me that I was that close. And then I could have done something different. And not sent so many research modules. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Double helix model. There we go. Okay, so this is all good. The rocket's all good. What were we going to do? I've forgotten now. What's going on here? Oh, the that's what we needed to do. We need to fix this pipe. So, this... I wish you could see better what was going on behind these pipes. This one is bridging on right there. It stopped right now because this one is kicking out a bunch. So this here and this here needs to change.
This one used to go this way. And then like this. This one can go... This way. And then like that. Ah! And then just to keep it somewhat neat, I'll go that way. Or... I'll do... Stop. This. Which is even neater. And then... Build that stuff. Okay. So, now it's going to take the output from here, if it's polluted water, goes this way. It gets pulled out and onto this pipe here, and gets sent up and prioritized to go this way, and out to the cooling loop slash feeding loop for the... Uh, pinches. If this does not output polluted water, then this one comes in and gets dumped onto the pipe here after this one and continues the same path. If this feeder loop, if this feeder for the cooling loop slash pinches gets backed up, then the polluted water goes this way and down in to here into this cooling loop which then goes into here and gets dropped into the um, the pool. Meanwhile, once this... Ooh, that's a problem. I got an endless loop here. Well, I'll think about this some more. Because right now... Yeah, we've got an endless loop going on here. Shoot. I want the water from here to go to here. But not the water from here. So this shouldn't happen. So that means this doesn't need to happen. That means this can just go there. And we can take that out. And then this one needs to bridge onto here. Like that. I think. So then what happens is once this gets backed up, because it can't output the polluted water into the feeder loop anymore, then it spills this way and goes through the sieve and becomes clean water. That's the better, the better way. I think it's a spaghetti mess no matter which way you look at it. Alright. What's our rocket status here? The long one is... 4.2 cycles out. This closer one is 6.8 cycles out. Alright, we'll let them finish that. Let's go back up and take a look at what we were working on the last time, which is the arbor tree thing here. If we plant an arbor tree here... Do, 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 do. I can't because I have these in here. But if we plant the arbor acorn here... We need polluted water, so we need to tap that off of this polluted water that's feeding these. And we need dirt, which we can do. And we need temperature, which we can get from this as heat. This, yeah, the heat from this. I think that'll work. So if I plant and then copy these... <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Copy those. That should take care of them. Uh, they don't have the irrigation yet, which is fine. Now we need to try and figure that part out. Mm, that might be best to get from the way back here. Oh, 
Like that. I don't know how many arbor seeds we actually had. 20 something? Still? Yeah, that's fine. And then uh, temperature, of course, is an issue here. I heard also this. Don't need. Reject. Okay. Um, which means we need to also have one of these here. Somewhere. And this is probably the least bad place to put it. That's how I define things, is in least bad. Let's move this pipe, though. To there instead. And then this can come this way. Bridge. And then become a radiant pipe. Here. And back. And then... Insulated pipe here, and then bridge on to, oh crap, um, no, you're gonna have to be a bridge, sorry, wait, did I do, the, I did the wrong liquid pipe here, shoot, you go there, uh, bridge there, bridge there, good. Like that. And a bridge here. And then of course we need a thermosensor somewhere. I'll just put it here, I think. What did you make that out of? Copper? That's good. And some copper wire for it. I'll go out through the wall just for fun. Come on. Auto save. This is getting bad. Okay, and then this can go power that way. I think that will work. We'll let them get that built. Let's go take a look at pipe spaghetti down here. See how this is going. Yeah, so now this is backed up almost. And so now it's overflowing into this loop. Because this is cold, by the way, so it's keeping this water cool. And then getting dumped into here, along with the wastewater from th the bathrooms, of course. Until this gets... This controls that, so sending green signal if it's below 200 kilograms, that's good. And this one sends a green signal if this is above 500, which is good, because that controls how this pushes out. This is stuck right now because it was must have been outputting uh, regular water that was polluted, so it was going this way. And it was stuck. But now it's doing better. I think. I mean, I think that's why it was stuck. So this is all now uh, clean. Uh, no, regular water that is polluted. And so this needs to be priority, needs to be pumped out of here and into the sieve to, to clean the water, at least eventually. Or actually can bypass the sieve and go straight into here, eventually. In reality, what I want to do is only have this output to the sieve when... Oh, I wonder if this wasn't working right. It should have been. Oh, I think it's just polluted water getting backed up in this. Okay. Uh, this is actually outputting that, that polluted clean water, or that infected clean water. No, it's not clean. Infected regular water uh, out to here to dump it into here. So that's fine. Or it goes into the um, sieve if if it need, or if, if, it, if there's room for it. But right now there's not a whole lot left in here. Just this bit here and this bit here. So most of what we're pumping out of here now is polluted anyway. And because we have a nice supply of it coming in from our friends over here, uh, it's going to be a while. Although, at least that part is stopping when it needs to. Back up here, we still haven't finished the piping. 
And this is going to send a green signal when the temperature is below... What were these again? 15 to 40. Let's say when the temperature is below 25. And you can see there's already water in the wrong kind of pipe here. Perfect. Do a construction priority on all this mess. Just so they get it done. We have a lot of entombments. Are we getting a lot of showers? We have a lot of overheated damages too. Let's um let's come up here and help, maybe. Yeah, we need some help. Alright, that'll be better once they get that dug out. And then do all the repairs, of course. Good job, guys. Yeah, they're repairing everything, which is good. Alright, and we're alive again. Alright, so now we can keep picking that stuff up. How much do we still have a metric ton of... Well, many metric tons of regolith here? Yes, we do. Holy cow. Alright, so that, that third rail is going to be full for a while. And then we'll just, as mentioned before, just take care of this down here. I forgot I've enabled manual use before. So now if I sweep Regolith, where does that go? Somebody? I see there's no errands assigned, but it's not red, so that means it has a destination. Is it because this keeps... Probably because that keeps getting filled up. Wait a minute. Why is that... Okay. So they would put it in there if they were given the opportunity. But if I select that for sweeping, then they're going to do it. And this isn't going to work. And I would rather just have the automated arm do it for now. Another freaking meteor shower? Oops, wrong button. That button. Alright, one and a half cycles left for that rocket. Let's see if our arbor acorns, our arbor trees are growing. They are. So we have to be very, very careful with these. Uh, we have to prune some of the branches, which I'm not exactly sure how to do because I've never done this before. Um, but we have to prune some of the branches in order to make sure that they can grow to their fullest, to, to all five branches. If you remember how big the tree was uh, a bit ago, we need to do that again. Um, I need to make this a uh, greenhouse. We would need a farm station in order to make it a greenhouse. And I don't know that we need it to be a greenhouse. I'm just going to put a... Well, I'll put the mechanized airlock in. No, you know what? I'll just put a pneumatic door in. Hey, look, there's free stuff right there. Can't get the rest of that. Can't reach it. Well reach some of it, I suppose. And your problem is body temperature. Well, we're trying to heat it up in here. We have 70 to 80 to 90 degree water going through this loop. Um, no. That's not how this is supposed to work. That's better. Oh, they're too hot now. 
Oops. Yeah, they're too warm now. That one's growing, though. Um... I guess I need this thermal sensor to be closer to the floor. Can I build it there? Yes, I can. And that's a problem anyway. Okay, that's going to be better anyway. Well, that's up in hydrogen. That's probably the problem. Yeah, there's garbage up there. Let's uh, do, 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 put in an airflow tile here to let some of that out, maybe. Um, oh, that door was locked because of the stupid automation wire. Thank you, and thank you. Good, good, good. Okay, so now this just needs to cool off, and it will naturally, and then they'll be back to normal. I guess maybe I shouldn't have done radiant pipes in there. Maybe I should have just done regular pipes in there. If it becomes a problem, I'll change them out. Oh, and we have melty, melty salt water. That's not good. I'm going to put a lip on this so that that doesn't keep happening. I see this is full, by the way. Build these two tiles. Some priority. You guys fell asleep up here because you got blocked in. Well, then you can dig yourselves out. That'll teach you. We made a mess. You too? Alright, well that means we're going to have to make a mess by the time you make it back to home. Okay. That isn't them. There's nails. Okay. And Tavaka time again. Pedro come in too? I didn't notice. Okay. We can dig this mess out now. that'll work. Club, 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 club. Also do that. Look at that. Amazing what a little bit of water will do. And I want to let them build that wall, so I'm going to wait on that side. And I did this technically backwards, but that's okay. I'll just fix it with scaffolding. Actually, let me just make this go all the way up there, and then this one can go all the way up there, and we'll just make that one big old water tank. Alright, and these guys have almost stabilized. Your body temperature is too cold now. Grr, arg. I guess the way to combat that would be to put another sensor on this end. In which case, I should have run the wires this way. I'm going to.
And the rocket should be back, by the way. Go take care of that. There it is. And it broke through two of the doors. Oh, dear. Okay, well... Turn my switch on. That's what I put it there for. And then I can turn it back off again. So this one I need to deconstruct these. And I really honestly... Don't care if the rocket is this big anymore. Um, let's. I think I'll take this back down to this size as well, which means we need to put a gantry in back down here. And this will have to come back into here. the bridge and a bridge and a bridge and then this will have to go into there and I need to disable this building before I deconstruct that and I need these built ASAP oh and I lost I lost a signal wire here. That's why the doors didn't open. That's disabled, so I can deconstruct this. And let's do... Alright, come on. Oh, I can't. they can't reach it yet. Okay, that's fine then. Take out all of this and that. Alright, well, while they're working on that, let's come back down here. I, I know I'm way over time. I need to end the episode, but let's copy this to here. And that way we make sure we get some heat bubbles in here when either end is too cold. Although maybe now 25 is too hot. We'll have to see. Uh, rocket, let's do an observation module, sightseeing module. You can go away. So can you. You know what? I think we'll end here. And we'll pick up next time finishing this rocket. And this one will come back. And we can launch them both again. So thank you all for joining me. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.